we have put a plan for, for the end of the year for 6 to 8 percent, and we don't see any changes from that levels. As you know, you know, QMB is a very, very well diversified uh, institution. You know, we have uh, businesses uh, uh, in 31 countries, and our diversification is really working and helping, you know, I mean, to uh, overcome any crisis. Last time we spoke, Ali, uh, you were uh, very bullish when it came to your expansion in Asia and, and in Africa as well. With the Gulf crisis, is that perhaps an additional incentive for you to be more aggressive about that expansion, to push harder into those markets? Yes. Uh, our 2020 strategy is uh, dependent, you know, to become a top player among Middle East, Africa and Southeast Asia. And we don't see any change in that strategy going forward. And this strategy, just to, you know, uh, to recap, you know, it's, it's, it's built around uh, two pillars, uh, non-organic growth as well as leveraging the network, our, our existing network. In terms of, like, you know, non-organic growth, you know, uh, we are very opportunistic. We're not actively looking for acquisitions as we speak, but we are very opportunistic should, should there be any opportunities arise. In terms of the second pillar, which is leveraging the existing network, we will be expanding within the existing geography in terms of, like, you know, organic, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, organic uh, fashion. So we will be building two branches in, in, in Oman, in Sur and Salalah, uh, opening one more branch in Kuwait. Uh, end of this month, we will be establishing our, our business as a full-fledged branch in, in India. Uh, also, we're going to be applying for license, you know, in, in Hong Kong, a full-service branch license in Hong Kong. In China, we are changing our, yeah. our position there from a rib office to a full-service branch. So we will continue the strategy, you know, as, as is. You're focused on your strategy, and you're saying little has changed there, if at all. But uh, you've got a reality on the ground in Saudi Arabia and Egypt as well in this latest political dispute. Uh, uh, how are you going to reallocate resources or reprioritize a little bit, refine your strategy to adjust what is happening there? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, GCC represents less than 5 percent of our balance sheet. So, I mean, this, the impact we see is, is very little, you know, uh, if any, you know, for, for our, you know, strategy and, and going forward. And, you know, I mean, uh, you know, we're going to be pushing more maybe in the Southeast Asia, but, you know, as we see, you know, even if the situation continues even forever, you know, I mean, uh, you know, the, to diversify 5 percent is so easy and uh, does not really uh, take, take so much. What are your uh, funding or financing plans for the remainder of the year? We did see some of the inner bank rates move higher. That's not just in Qatar, uh, but also a little bit across the region. Uh, how does that change the funding strategy for the bank? Yeah. The cost of fund, there was a natural hike, which was a result of the Fed, you know, uh, rate, rate increases, which happened this year, and uh, actually started last year and, and, and this year. So uh, in terms of, like, our, you know, going back to our numbers, you know, our first half numbers, uh, our net interest income, you know, showed a growth of 5 percent after diluting uh, the dilution of the Egyptian uh, currency itself. So we are continuing to grow. And the reason for this, we are repricing our asset at the same speed as, as our liabilities. In terms of any abnormal cost of fund, we don't see this, you know. Again, you know, uh, we are diversified. We don't have concentration of our funding book uh, anywhere. We are, we're, I mean, we get our funding from, from, from Qatar mainly, uh, from, uh, from U.S., from Europe, from Asia, from Middle East. So we are very much diversified, and we don't have the concentration, and we didn't, we didn't see any, any uh, abnormal increase in cost of fund. And let me remind you, this, you know, QMB is a highly rated institution, is a double A institution, and and this and investors love QMB story, love the Qatar story, and they continue to do so. I'm going to jump in here, just to, again, just to underscore, so you don't have any plans to tap the international debt market. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, we have a, an EMTN program. The size of our EMTN program is 17.5 billion dollars, and probably we have not even we have only used half half of this, you know, uh, at this stage. You know, so we still have a big room to move with, within this area. Q and B is the biggest lender uh, in this part of the world, and I, I do want to again capitalize on that and just get your top line thoughts on how confident you are that this crisis is going to res be resolved anytime soon. 
Well, you know, this is not for me to, to comment on, you know, but I can tell you one thing. QMB is very strong, and we are prepared to, you know, uh, to, to work even in a standalone basis. You know, I mean, uh, Qatar is a very strong economy, is the richest economy in the world. Uh, you know, uh, huge reserves, $340 billion of, of foreign uh, reserves. So, and QMB, where, where, you know, as I said, you know, we have a very strong story in terms of, like, you know, uh, Qatar on one side and also being diversified on the other side. So, uh, I mean, we have a very strong uh, and bright future.